Alexia, as I look at you today in your stunning wedding gown, I can't help but reflect on the little girl you wear and the extremely beautiful, successful, thoughtful and down-to-earth woman you have become. You make me proud. Today, she has joined hands with this wonderful man. And in addition to the sparkle I have always seen in her eyes, today I see love and joy beyond anything I have seen before. Matthew, I'm sure you know by now how very much we love you and how proud we are to have you as our son-in-law. You and Alexia are quite simply a perfect match. I remember the very first time we met Matt. He had a broken leg. He hobbled in with the aid of his crutches and still managed to give a firm and sincere handshake and gave Andrea the warmest of hugs. And we knew from the warmth in his eyes and his lovely smile that this was the man for Alexia. So I thought it must be a horrible situation not to get on with your in-laws and I think I am very lucky that we do get on so well. You don't take my word for it, here are a few reasons why we get on so well. Free food. Uh, free ice cream, free paninis, free tea, free toasties, free food on Wednesdays. Uh, so the generosity area that we did there. I've got phenomenal laundry service. Incredible. When we lived there, I think I once woke up with washed undies back on again. It was uh, incredible. I think my slight issue with our relationship is that I'm not the most romantic person, potentially. But I do think it every day. I do think you are the most beautiful person I've ever met. Tracky bottoms or not, I thought it might have come down the aisle, you know. The leotard, all the things, and I do realise how lucky I am. But it's not just your looks I'm into. I broke into several categories here. Number one, kindest, most thoughtful person. And this morning, Lexi got me a guitar, and I was like, I've oh, got a card. <laughs> it's incredible. The boys were saying, well, What are you doing, cards or presents? I was like, It's just cards. And then a guitar came, I was like, It's not just cards. <laughs> it's something else as well, then. So. But yeah, I mean, from everything we've done today in terms of all the stuff for the bridesmaids, everyone, always think about other people. I know you get that from your parents, but it's just incredible. You'll hear some dad rock, that's the kind of put it on. That's the kind of generosity we're talking about as well. <laughs> Part two, organisation. Yeah. Everything that's good about today is because she's done it. And if it goes wrong, I was told to do it and I haven't quite <laughs> done it properly. She spent more time doing the toilets here than I have on the whole wedding. It is incredible. And this is a big one, patience. I don't think I've ever met anyone who's more patient. And I'm, I don't mean just in general, I mean putting it up with me. So I've done a list of things she has to put up with. And by regular, I mean daily basis. Being chased upstairs, me hiding in wardrobes, me doing a human blanket making her lie on the floor to pretend she's a towel so I can pretend I'm on holiday. <laughs> That's one of the things I've been doing. That is incredible patience, so thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for making life fun. Um, thank you for making today possible with all this stuff. I love you. Um, I've had the pleasure of calling Matt a very close friend for the past 10 years now and behind that jokey childlike exterior there really is a truly caring, kind and wonderful man. Alexia, good luck. The fact that you've got here without him drawing a single penis on any of the decorations <laughs> is testament to you but seriously he's a great guy and you are fantastic together so can I please raise a glass to Mr and Mrs Parsons. Cheers, Cheers thank you. Alexia and Matthew. If you will permit me, I would like to give you one piece of advice on marriage. There is nothing more important than the love the two of you share today. Always keep it alive. Share your feelings with one another and say the words I love you every day.